Okay, I just had a kind of a weird situation. I don't know, how, what, what's the word for it? Not weird. Anyway, this is what happened. I was walking around my house, looking at my upper floors, which are not made, thinking, man, it's gonna take me a long time to, to get these upper floors built because I need to build a lumber mill, I need to build a power source for the lumber mill, which means I'm, I mean, it's just, it's just gonna be like, like at least a year before I get set up to even be able to start cutting wood for my second and third floor. And I was starting to think, man, I have a lot of things going on and a lot of things to do. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and, and buy the wood. And it's gonna be a few thousand dollars to do it. Which, I mean, I could afford it. I wouldn't say I could comfortably afford it, but you know, I, I could pay for it. And uh, then like, like immediately after that, I got offered this job to, to fix up someone's house for like $1,500-ish. I mean, I, we, I deal, we gotta figure out the exact details. But like, it's gonna be like a signif significant portion of the amount of money that it would cost to just do, to, to buy the wood for my floors. So I think what's gonna happen here is I'm, I'm gonna take that job you know, spend, spend some time working on someone's house uh, and then take the money and start buying wood for my upper floors. Um, and then, you know, I'll still have to pay for some of that myself. And maybe I can, maybe I can squeeze out a few other sources of money here and there to, to help pay for the, the upper floors. But I, I kind of think it's going to be worth it because... Right now I have three floors worth of stuff all on my first floor. And it's gonna be amazing to take like, like a lot of the stuff down here and put it up where, where it's gonna go. Plus, uh, it's, just gonna, it's just gonna be so nice to have all that, all that space that's doing nothing right now. So, oh, my kids are gonna love it. Oh, yeah, there's, there's so many reasons I should just do it. So I, I, think, I think doing my third, my second and third floors is about to get bumped way up in the priority list. And I think it's gonna happen a lot sooner. And I'm just gonna buy the wood. Let me, let me show you at least what I'm talking about up here. So I'm standing up on the second floor area right now. And the way I'm gonna do the floor here is I'm, I'm not doing a floor out in the middle there. The floor is just gonna go across this part. And it's gonna go all the way around where, where all those garbage bags are. Those are full of styrofoam for styrocrete. And come all the way around here. And then I want to bank the edge here so that I can use it as a running track and have a little, little banked running track. And then in each one of these, like in each one of these slots, there are 12, there are 12 pillars, right? So between each pillar, I'm going to call these slots. Between each slot, there's going to be like, you know, like a bedroom, or like, uh, you know, my, my drawing table will go up here and then I'll have all my drawing stuff. And there'll be 12 different slots where I can put stuff. Well, maybe one or two slots will be the spot where you, you come up the stairs or something. But there's going to be a, a whole bunch of slots for different things. And then uh, right up here on the third floor, I'm not going to climb up there right now, but... All right, I'll... All right, so here's the third floor. It's just a dome two-story tall dome. And I'm, not putting a, I'm not putting a fourth floor up there. There's, there's space for a fourth floor. But this is just going to be two-story tall ceiling so I can have basketball and volleyball and I don't know, whatever. And all of these joists here, they're in pretty decent shape, but it is all temporary. I'm going to take all this out and put in, you know, stronger wood, thicker wood, because like I put all this in so that I could get in here to do the ceiling. Um, and I cut the wood real rough with a chainsaw. Although it did come out pretty good. Still, I want to replace it. Well, I, then, and the, the wood is in pretty good shape though. I'll be, be able to use it for a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, up here is just going to be gymnasium floor all the way across. You know, I'll get this big scaffolding out of the way, obviously. And uh, man, that's going to be awesome. Oh, here's the door to outside. 
Now I'm still gonna build a lumber mill and a power source for the lumber mill and all the associated stuff. I'm just not gonna feel so rushed in doing it. And uh, you know, just the quality of life increase that's gonna happen by having those floors done is, uh, that's gonna be pretty huge. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Like, like potentially in a month or two, I could have like a gymnasium up there. Oh my God, my kids are gonna be so excited. Me too. All right, I, I, think that's what's, I think that's what's happening now. And right now, I just, I just got off the radio with Deshana and we're, we're tracking down who we can get to, well, who I can get to cut the wood at a good price, who actually cuts kind of straight. I know one guy who has a pretty decent price, but he's terrible at cutting the wood. Oh, he's so crooked. But um, yeah, I'm tracking down someone to cut the wood right now and getting materials to do this job to get the money to buy the wood for the, yeah. I guess if that's all going forward, I need to start calculating exactly what pieces of wood I need and how many and all that stuff. All right, I'm just gonna let this roll around in my brain a little bit, but I thought I should say something about it right away when it was still fresh. Yeah, right now I'm gonna work on something else for a little bit. I'm gonna go move a boat around. <gasps> oh, what is this brightness I see? Oh, sunny day. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, it's been raining so much. Okay, yeah, I mean, if that will work, that would be amazing. All right, basically there's a, there's a local guy that I know and uh, if I help him cut the wood, the price should be significantly reduced if we can work this out. And at least part of the wood he can cut on my property because I've got, I've got trees that are on the ground that are fairly dried out and stuff, not getting eaten by termites. We can totally get at least a few of those. Um, yeah, so that should really help the price. The other thing is like, if I can get this guy to go into my jungle with me and we can go hunting for these trees, I can get him to identify a whole bunch of trees for me because that guy knows all the trees around here. And I, I need to learn a lot of that. Oh, okay, this might, this might be working out really well. well. I went by the guy's house, the guy who, who I know, who I know is cutting wood right now. And he wasn't there. That was a couple days ago. And then I was gonna go back, but then I started thinking, you know, if I get someone else to cut the wood for me, it's gonna be cut with a chainsaw, which means it's gonna be rough, which means I'm gonna to have to plane it anyway. So it's still gonna leave a bunch of extra work for me to do. And if I cut it with my lumber mill and I build a decent circular blade mill, it'll cut flat enough boards that I won't have to plane them. So, I don't know, I just started thinking, uh, I'm gonna skip through a bunch of what I was thinking, but basically I got to the point where I was like, well, maybe I should just cut the wood myself. And it's, it's you know, I, I still have to build the lumber mill that I can use, I can use some, the money I make from this job I'm gonna do to buy some lumber mill pieces. And uh, if I just get cranking and working real hard, then I can, you know, get all that going faster. Yeah, I, I, now, now I'm thinking I should just do that. Just, just start really focusing on just working harder and getting it done. This is the part. And now that I'm saying that, this I feel like I was kind of, I was kind of like the... wimping out, trying to get someone else to do this it. This is the part. I, I think I need to do it. What are you saying, little baby? That's the part. Are you saying that's the screen? You can see me on the screen? Yeah. So I, do you think I should just cut the wood myself? Make the lumber mill? Make yeah. all the stuff for it? Do it myself? Yeah, it's hard. She's not thing. listening to me, but I, I think that's what I should do. So hard. I think that's what I'm going to do. So hard. So. So I'm probably just going to keep my priority list the same, but just start working harder on it. Yeah. I did kind of like, kind of like when I was building my house. When I was building my house, it was like sun up till sundown going full, full force. So maybe not that much. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. 
I think I'm just gonna start cranking up the cranking up the work effort. Hey, I better shut up and start doing.